iconic and marvelous are the two words that describe Vijayavithala temple. The architecture and the craftsmanship of this temple are unmatched. The temple is amidst the Tungabhadra river and surrounded by the beautiful mind-blowing picturesque view mountains around. This view attracts the tourist and the panoramic view is amazing. Before entering, let us dig into the history. Let's date back to 15th century. This temple was built by King Devraya II, the ruler of Vijayanagar Empire. It is said that Krishna Devraya, the famous ruler of Vijayanagar dynasty, expanded few portions of this temple during his reign. This temple is dedicated to Lord Vithala is an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Once you enter into this temple complex, the sprawling compound of this temple assembles with a town featuring many halls, gateways, towers, pillars, pavilions and compound walls. The front of the temple features a stone chariot. This chariot is one of the three famous chariots in India. It is a shrine dedicated to the eagle god Garuda. As per Hindu mythology, Garuda is the carrier of Lord Vishnu. This is one of the most observed sub-monument in Hampi. It is believed that it was once mobile on its stone wheels but the reality now is that it is immobile. Observe the elephants in the front that are pulling the chariot. The chariot is a miniature shrine in itself. Spend some time to admire the beautifully carved chariot. Once you take look at stone chariot, walk forward you can see main hall. This hall is known as Mahamandapa. The Mahamandapa comprises of four smaller halls. Once you step on the eastern side of the Mandapa, you will notice the Mandapa decorated with elephant ballast. There are 40 pillars and each of these pillars are 10 feet in height. Once you stand in the center of Mahamandapa, you can see 16 beautifully decorated pillars carved with the sculpture of Narasimha and Yali the mythical creature. These 16 pillars from a rectangular court. Spend some time to explore Mahamandapa. After this we will visit the Ranga Mandapa. After visiting Mahamandapa next let us move towards Ranga Mandapa. Ranga Mandapa is famous for its musical pillars, and all these pillars are carved out from a single rock. Each of these pillars exhibit a different musical notes. Some people call these pillars as Sarigama pillars, as they indicate the musical notes. You can gently tap on the pillars to listen these musical notes. You can see that. Every main pillar is surrounded by seven minor pillars. And these seven minor pillars exhibit seven different musical notes from the representative musical instruments. It is said that, British rulers were curious and wanted to discover the secret behind the musical pillars. British rulers cut two of the musical pillars to check if anything existed inside the stone pillars which made the pillars to exhibit the musical notes. But they found nothing inside the pillars. You can see two pillars cut down by the Britishers as you walk in the Ranga Mandapa. Words fail to explain the elegance and the splendor of this temple complex. Don't forget to capture the beauty and elegance of this temple with your camera.